driver's license, road travel, jurisdiction. So, 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 so when you go in these quasi courts, so how you how, how you uh, come on location is the way how they treat you, right? If I came up in a court, you know what I'm saying, as a Negro, black, and color, they're going to deal with me according to the Negro, to the Christian black codes and the color of law, right? Islam, right? If I come in as a Moorish American national, I would, how do they go, man? Oh, you still have to, you still have to come in, you still have to know how to demonstrate in the court. Okay. You know, just because you claim Moorish American, you proclaim your nationality does not make you a Moor. It's not. not a Moorish American mom. Uh, because they have our lives. They know everything about us. It's us that don't know about us. And when we come in there demonstrating like we're somebody else, they say he's a hypocrite. <clears throat> Hypocrisy. He's pretending. Baylor. Take one of the bad. Islam. So you have to get into your lesson. Yes, sir. Study thyself, know thyself, and get into the law. Yes, sir. Governmental questions. Um, I heard you speak on a uh, trading banner. Did you touch on the uh, gold frames and the tassels? What that means? No, but I can. Uh, the gold fringe is a military flag. <laughs> it has no jurisdiction. The flag represents nothing. So they are just adjudicating law under military terms, under admiralty and maritime law. Demonstrate. That's law of the water and not law of the land. Teach. See, we are organic people, mm -hmm. so we need to be adjudicated under law of the land. They, they adjudicate law of the sea. So they put a red, they put a gold fringe up there, which represents military. It's, it, only, it only has jurisdiction in the military. Well, it has sure. no... So what Negro, Black, and Colors are labeled as in, in military? What are they, what they labeled as under, according to, according to uh, Rome law? What are they labeled under? What A Negro, Black, and Color that's in the military. Oh, I'll let the brother answer that. Thing. That's an it, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Wrong has to do that because law governs all events, you know, and since 1929, uh, as a result of the stock market crash, as a result of Nova Zua Ali, we've been in a state of emergency. The Constitution has been dissolved. Uh, every president, when he comes in office every four years, renews or extends that state of emergency. So that gold trimming around now basically represents your liberty being controlled through the barrel of a gun. Mm -hmm. And it's not based upon uh, the military standards of, of, of a sovereign nation of people, but it represents a foreign mm -hmm. military occupation. Are you a sovereign? Sovereign. Are you a sovereign? Could you read it? Chill. Could you read free national being, please? Free national being. Free national being. An individuality and now has the political and civil status of a free man or free woman and can now follow the dictates of his or her own will. Can you repeat that, Islam? No, sir. Repeat it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Free national being, an individual who has claimed or declared his or her nationality and now has the political and civil status of a free man or free woman and can now follow the dictates of his or her own will. So without proclaiming your nationality, he said, declare. Proclaiming is the first step. 
but declaring it to the world makes you a free national being according to the law. The prophet set up the more science temple so you can come in and proclaim your nationality and get your nationality card. But it does you no good if you don't declare it to the rest of the world. All right, since the sheik mentioned the nationality card that the Moors issues in these temples or so-called temples, I want to speak on that because this is one of the methods that the prophet talked about that Moors would use to lead their own back into slavery. And by that I mean, you know, after you go through all that and you declare your nationality and so forth, then on the bottom of the card, in the bottom right-hand corner, what do you have written in? You have written, and they want you to say it at the same time. I am a citizen of the USA. So if that's not leading you back into slavery, I don't know what it is. Because the U.S. is a corporation, and these are the ones that enslave everybody by their doctrine and taxes and so forth and so on. But anyway, study yourself approved. The class is national. Nice proclaims it, declares it, and that's it. Is he a free national being? Because he has to uh, You yeah. said you have to proclaim, you have to declare yeah. as a, that you are a free national being, uh, a part of a nation. All right, let's clarify a term that the sheep just used and Moors like to use on a consistent basis. One of those terms is national, which is a spinoff of the term nation. But anyway, let's, let's deal with the term nation right now and find out what the definition of it is. A body of people associated with a particular territory that is sufficiently conscious of its own unity to seek or to possess a government peculiarly its own. Number two. The territory or country itself. And number three, a member tribe of an Indian confederation. I don't necessarily go along with the final definition uh, right here, but uh, Indian, of course, is a spinoff from the word indigenous. And, of course, a federation means what it means, and I don't necessarily go along with that. But the, but the uh, bottom line being is that a nation is a tribe, like the Navajo tribe or the uh, Apache tribe or something of that nature. But anyway, these tribes form nations. And so Moors uh, are always talking about nationality and nation, but you have to have a territory, a government, you know, something that you control, something that you are sovereign, a, a, a place that you are sovereign in and on. And you got to have enough consciousness and unity amongst yourself to have that government. Study yourself. Here's my paperwork. Am I a free national being? You gotta be living out the do. That's just that's just another step. You go play, then you declare it, and now you have to live it up. Thank you, Mr. Hey Chairman, could you read that first part of that statement again? An individual or declared his or her nationality. So, a free national being is an individual, but he has to, and that she has to tie back to a nation. Now, if a person does that by verbally doing paperwork, is that enough? Doing paperwork? And proclaiming his nationality. National being, what are you doing? You're free to do. You're free to do what? If you're a free national being, you're free national being to do what? Now, are we sovereign or are we semi-sovereign under the guidance <laughs> and the tutelage of the prophet? Semi-sovereign. 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 Yeah. That's what I was saying. So you're talking about so you're not, your own laws and customs. I mean, I think, you know, 
but it has to be did in the framework and the context with the nationality that you.